Yo, what up guys, all that day hope it's going good, and today I want to tell you guys how you get 100% Super Curry Clash. Now, if you don't know, uh, like, I don't know, like, seven months ago or something like that, I would actually, I actually 100% the game, and I was really happy about it, it took me a long time to do it, so, you know, but now, with that out of the way, um, I, I can show you guys real quick, proof that I 100% the game, um, yeah, so I want to tell you guys how you can 100% the game too. Now, in order to 100% the game, you need to complete every heroic mission, get all platinum medals on every boss, you have to get to level 100. You have to buy every gear. To, you have to upgrade every gear to SDX upgrade in the shop. Hello. I know I'm shirtless right now. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to 100% the game, you need to also buy every upgrade, every gear to SDX upgrade in the shop as well. As you can see here. The weapons and armor. You have to do weapons and armor to walk into the game as well. So you want to upgrade all of these to SDX upgrade to 100% the game as well. So you need to do all of that to 100% the game. I know it's not easy. And it's not going to take three seconds to do. But I will tell you guys how you can do it. Now, first things first, I want to tell you guys how you can grind rare fragments. So rare fragments are important. You need rare fragments to buy DX upgrades and SDX upgrades. If you don't got rare fragments, you're not going to be able to get those upgrades. So the best way to grind rare fragments is, let me show you guys real quick, is go to support items and you can, uh, and you need upgrade, upgrade this to the highest you possibly can. So it boosts your chances of getting rare fragments. That's, not, that's a good way to get some rare fragments. You know, yeah. If you if you can upgrade at the highest possible, you'll boost your chances of getting a rare fragment in a quest. Now, another good way to get rare fragments is going to heroic missions here and completing missions that give you rare fragments. Let me show you a good a, a, a mission that gives you rare fragments real quick. That gives you a, like a really big amount of rare fragments. So if you get to level one hundred, you can get flip. You can, if you get to level one hundred, you can get two hundred rare fragments. Now that can get you like. 20 pieces of gear. I don't know, if, I don't think it's 20 pieces, but I can get you a bunch of gear upgrades. So that that's also uh, something. Also, another easier way to 100%, you might have to spend money to 100% this game, because um, if, if you harvest the gem apple tree without spending money, you're probably going to get like 10 gem apples, but if you spend some money, you're going to, not only is the tree going to grow, so you get more gem apples for harvest, and um, let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. You don't have to, in order to 100%, you only have to upgrade your tree all the way to the max, but um, yes, I want to proceed. I'm trying to make a video here. There you can see, as you can see, if, if you buy a, well, it's not showing up for me because I already upgraded to the max, to the max level, so it's not showing for me. But if you don't have your tree upgraded to the max level, it'll tell you, like, if you upgrade your tree to, gem, to like, level 7, you'll get, like, 500 gem levels per harvest, something like that. And that's really going to help you buy the gears. Because these gears, let me tell you, these, these gears and stuff I got right now, they are not cheap. They can cost up to 100 gem apples. They are not cheap. Yeah, the SDX upgrades can cost up to 100 gem apples, especially the Starlight. That can cost up to like 100 gem apples, like 200 and something uh, fire, water, and light fragments, and like 5 or something rare fragments. These gears cost a lot, so if you're going to want to get those gears, you're going to need the gem apples. If you don't got gem apples, you're not going to be able to get those upgrades. Now, the best way to get gem apples without, without uh, buying, spending money is obviously completing hero missions. I would, I would, I would try, if you, if you have Nintendo Switch Online, I would recommend doing it on online, because it'll be easy doing it online, and you got people that are probably, like, higher level or stronger than you. So if you got those type of people, you get those type of, get lucky with those people online, it will help you clear heroic missions. So say if you're, like, a level 60, a level, one, in, like, a level 60 quest, a level 100 joins your lobby, that can increase your chance of getting a platinum medal. So yeah, the best way to, uh, get, uh, gem apples is by doing party quests, because party quests give you up to, um, it give you eight hero missions. I think it's eight. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's eight hero missions in these. So if you can do those, you'll get a bunch of gem apples. Now you're probably not gonna be able to do all of them, but now I want to talk about how you can get to level one hundred. Let me talk about that real quick. Let me talk about how you can get to level one hundred. So I I actually did make a video on how I got to level one hundred. Now you can too. Um, it's the second most popular video on my channel. So if you get my top upload section, you'll probably find it because. By the way, thank you guys for getting that video to almost a thousand views. That's like nine hundred and something views right now. So I really appreciate you guys for that. But um, if you want to get level one hundred, I recommend uh checking out that video and then coming back to this one. It will it will show um how how you get to level one hundred in a simple way without having to rage or anything. But it only works if you're at like level I would say like level eighty something, like eighty nine or higher. That strategy works. So like that that's one way you can get to level one hundred. But like if you're at a lower level, you're probably gonna do lower level grind out lower level quest. But uh. Best, the way I was able to get my levels up and save gem apples is by buying this. My, if you buy mini XP orbs, it'll give you 1.5 times uh, 
XP for 10 minutes. Now, it's not as good as this, because this gives you 30 minutes, double XP, so you can get, like, thousands of more XP. But this is a good way to save gem apples and to increase your level. So I recommend buying mini XP orbs to save gem apples. And so I used to, I used to buy a lot of mini XP orbs back in the day when I, was, I was, when I was only like getting like 60 gem apples for harvest. I didn't have the money to you know make the gem apple tree bigger. So back in the days I was just buying mini XP orbs, grinding, grinding gem apples, and buying mini XP orbs, and that really helped me level up and save gem apples. So I would recommend you do that instead of buying these ones because these ones cost 50 gem apples. So go W XP for 30 minutes though. But these ones are cheap and affordable. You can probably buy 60 of these. You can get 5 of these for 60 gem apples. And that's a pretty good price if you ask me. And you get 5 of these for 200 gem apples. And that's going to take a bit of grinding. So I recommend buying me XP orbs to get your level up if you're at like a lower level. Like say like level 50 or something. I recommend buying these. Because not only will you save gem apples, but you'll also get a bunch of XP. So that's a, that's, that's a way that you can uh, increase your level a bit more, you know. Okay, so let's talk about how you can clear certain heroic missions. Now, if you want to get platinum medals, you have to get platinum. If you want to represent the game, there's just as you can see, there's 108 bosses in this game. So 108 bosses equals 108 platinum medals you need to get. So, and you know, and you know, um, the best way to get platinum medals is um, on certain quests you probably have to use different roles. Like on some quests you're gonna use Hammerlord, and you and you, and what you can do is you can also let's go back to the shop here. You can hit the shop and you can always buy attack potions. The attack potions are going to help you get platinum medals. Because obviously, if you have more attack, you're doing more damage. If you're doing more damage, you can kill the bosses faster. If you kill the bosses faster, you're going to be able to get platinum medals. So that's that's um, that's going to be helpful. Attack potions are going to be really helpful. Stamina potions are good so you can live. Because if you die a bunch of times on those quests, you ain't getting no platinum medals. So stamina potions could be good too. Now, I recommend using like 10 stamina potions. If you have the, the uh, gem apples, you can probably get like, you can probably use four attack potions. But like, some quests you're gonna have to use certain roles. Like some quests you might have to use Sword Heroes, some quests you might have to use uh Hammer Lord. Let me show you a quest, but I would recommend using uh certain roles. So let me show you some quests real quick. Um sync uh no 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 story quest. So for this quest right here to get a platinum medal on this, I would recommend using Sword Hero. You might say, you might say I'm crazy because Hammer Lord has the most attack in the game. So you're like, why are you using Hammer Lord? Well, if you don't know, Sword Heroes Twister Slash has the widest range out, out of any uh, attack in the game. So Twister Slash is going to be uh, really useful. Like, let me uh, let me show you an example on top of Parallel Susie here. We're going to switch to Sword Hero real quick. And we're going to use, like, um, well, well, on top of Parallel Susie, I would recommend using Hammer Lord. But, like, on a boss, like, uh, like um, let's, let's use, like, five attack potions here for, like, three. Also, if you play online, you're only going to be able to use one attack potion. So if you want to do this, you have to play offline. If you want to use more than one attack potion, you have to play offline. That's what you got to do. Be able to use more than one attack potion. If you play, like, with friends, you know, online, you're only going to be able to use one one of each potion. You're only going to be able to use one of each potion. But if you play offline, you can use up to five potions. Keep that in mind. So we're going to use, like, four attack potions. We're going to use a few stamina potions, too. And we're going to, uh... I'm going to use, um... Another beam mage here. Time stopping is really crucial as well, and we'll keep a heal more just in case. You know, healing is good too. Let me show you guys what I mean. Because Sword Heroes Twist of Slash has the widest range out of any attack in the game. If you fully charge it, that is. If you fully charge it, then it has the widest range. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. It has a really wide range. So you can hit the bosses way easier. I, I, my volume is muted because I want to make sure you guys can hear me. Like, you see that? Like, it has a really wide range. Like, it'll be really useful. You see that? You see how I cleared, I cleared that quest in like 5 seconds. Not only did I use a tax post, but most level 100, which makes it way easier to clear the quest. Now, if you, you know, if you can, especially, um, with Hammerlord, um, the thing about Hammerlord is like, here's a, if you use, if you use Hammer Flip, it can only, the Hammer Flip can only go in one direction. Hammer flip can only go in one direction. This is probably a bad example. Oh, new high score. Why don't you look at that? <laughs> anyway, let me show you what it looks like when we do hammer flip. It might be a little faster because I picked a bad boss to do this example on, but we're, we're still, we're still going to make it work. So let's see if it takes longer with hammer load than it did with sword hero. This is a bad a bad boss to uh, show this example I'm trying to show on, but I mean, it's, I got to work with what I got here. Do some attack for just okay. Now let's switch over to no. Let's not do that. Let's switch over to Hammer Lord and let's see what we can do with that. It 
This is just me using charge attacks. There's a bunch of other attacks in the game that you can that you can use for hammer lore and stuff to clear this, these quests faster. Let me just show you what I'm gonna do here. I can charge it. You yeah, see, it might be faster, but this is a really bad boss to do this example on. I should have did it on a boss like Parallel Nightmare, but yeah, I, I should do I should do an example on Parallel Nightmare because yeah, that was too easy. Yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna do a quest like this, I recommend using Hammer Lord. Uh, and use the attack potions. But if you do a boss like Parallel Nightmare, let, let's see what we can do with Parallel Nightmare. Or if I'm just picking bad bad bosses for these examples on. But 43,000 damage is crazy though. You high score, baby. Yeah, a quest specifically like that, where flipping AI heroes always gonna be in the middle, is perfect for Hammer Lord. This this is a bad uh, quest to show this example on. I'm gonna, let me show you a boss like Parallel Nightmare real quick. Let me show you a boss like Parallel Nightmare. Uh, where's Parallel Nightmare at? Parallel Nightmare, where you at, buddy? Um. Oh, let me go to uh let me go to party quest. Where's Parallel Nightmare? Ah, here we go. Parallel Nightmares. Well, let's do Parallel Nightmares Revenge. We're gonna switch over to Sword Hero. Actually, let's just, let's stay Hammer Lord. Let's use a few attack potions real quick. Uh, maybe a few stamina potions and let's hit it going. Ooh. Also, in Parallel Nightmare, a little trick, you go right here, you're safe, you just keep hovering, you're safe there. See, on a quest like this, you would probably want to use Sword Hero. Okay, maybe it's, maybe it's good to use... I swear, there's certain quests where you, don't, you do want to use Sword Hero, it's just not this one, I'm just doing a bad job of showing examples. I should buy a guy, hold up. Alright, we're good. But there is some there, I swear there's some quests where you want where you want to use a role besides Hammer Lord. It's just not the quest I'm 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 trying to show an example on. Anyway, so yeah, that's the, um 38 seconds is not is not bad either. Let me tell you guys that you can grind fragments. Because fire frag and you see these fragments, these three fragments are the fragments you need. To upgrade your gear to DX and SDX upgrades, and to get the normal gear itself. Like those fragments are like the three most important fragments. Well, not the most important. I feel like rare fragments are more important because you can upgrade your gear. If you upgrade your gear, you can do more damage and stuff. It'll help you clear quests faster. So, you know what? If you want to grind those fragments, um, I recommend checking out my uh, how I got the level one hundred video because that quest is also a good way to grind fragments. But if you're at a lower level where you can't do that quest, um, I would recommend uh the best way to grind fragments. I don't really know a good way to grind fragments. At like a lower level, like level like 450 or something. I don't really know that, but I'll try to find something for you guys. Um, obviously you want to play. You want you want you want to play quest that gives you a uh, every piece, every fragment like these quests right here that gives you fire flags, water fragments, and light flags. Although these quests are for higher level players, so I would recommend that if you're at lower levels. And you probably won't be able to play them at the lower levels anyway, because you. Because um, you need to unlock these quests. These quests cost gem apples. They're not free like some of the ones uh, you get at the beginning of the game. These quests can cost up to like... You want to know a quest that costs a lot of gem apples? This quest can cost up to 190 gem apples. I'm not joking. This quest can cost up to 190 gem apples. So gem apples are very crucial in this game. Gem apples is the most like important item in this game. Without gem apples, you're not going to be able to, to advance in the game. Gem apples are the most important item in this game. But I recommend to grind fragments. I recommend playing these low level bosses or something. Like maybe if you're like level 50 or something, you can grind out uh like um Krakow or something. I don't really know what you can do at lower levels, but if I do find a way to grind fragments, I will make a video on that too. But um yeah, I don't really think there's oh yeah, also another good way to um uh to get some gem up stuff is putting in certain I don't really remember some of the codes, but I'm pretty sure you can look up some codes on Google. 
and you'll find a wiki page for all the Super Kirby class codes, and, um, yeah, so I recommend looking up some Super Kirby class codes, and they'll give you, like, certain rewards, so you can get, like, gem apples, fragments, and stuff, it's pretty useful, and the adventure belt, too. Now, if you get, if you upgrade your adventure belt to, uh, this can also help you get gem apples. Let me show you what I mean, so, so as you can see, I've gotten six gem apples from this. Let me show you how I did that. Let's get some pretty good adventures here, too. So let's go over here. Let's go to the shop. So, um, as you can see here, you can upgrade your, uh, your uh, adventure gift codex. Now, this will increase your rewards. Now, if you get, like, if you get it up to, like, level 5, I'm pretty sure you'll start getting gem apples from the adventure thing. So, I, right now, if you have that awesome, you're going to get 6 gem apples per, like, uh, adventure bell ring. Which, so that can also help you get gem apples too. There's not really, there's not really, oh, star, uh, quest codex. Like, the only way to get star quest, I think the only way to get star quest is to play, um, online. I think that's the only way to get star quest. I could be wrong though. Also, these codex, um, I don't really know if these codex, I did buy these codex, and I don't really know if they help you or not. I don't really know what these do, but I'm pretty sure, um, they, they can help, they'll, they'll also help you too. These codex can probably help you too. I don't, I don't really have to nod them. Like, I did buy these codex, I didn't really see that big of a difference in them, but. These cogs are good too, and I still would recommend getting them. Because they might help. I, I don't know. Also, you should also buy these cogs too. These cogs will give you fire attack. If you can get these to at least, um, to at least, um, at least level, uh, four. I don't really know the levels anymore because I haven't bought, I haven't came back to these things in a long time because I've already 100% of the games. I don't need to come back to them. But if you can get these to at least, like, level four or something and start grinding out. Uh, fragments, you can probably get some pretty good amount of fragments, and that's what you're gonna need to, especially, if you wanna buy the SDS gear, you're gonna have to grind out fragments. So if you, the maximum amount, if you don't know, the maximum amount of fragments is 9,000, flip, I didn't mean to go off. The maximum amount of fragments is not, now that, now that, I can't talk. The maximum amount of fragments is 9,999. I think that is, let me go back in the shop real quick. Yeah, not, 9,999 is the maximum amount of, uh, fragments. Now, the maximum amount of gem apples is 99,999. In case you didn't know, and I think that's the same for the rare fragments. Uh, I think the rare fragments are also nine thousand one hundred ninety nine for the max. I just haven't got there. And I'm probably never gonna get there because rare fragments are, are are not that easy to get. Also, if, if you want to, if you really want to save gem apples, I recommend not buying stickers until you're like getting a bunch of gem apples per tree harvest because stickers cost gem apples and like they don't really help you with anything. All they do is just I don't, I don't know, just show up in battle, you know. Also, um. Another another way you can get gem apples is by is by going to get your gift from Magla. Every now and again, Magla will give you a gift of three gem apples, and I recommend getting that one if you can. It's not much gem apples, but hey, it's better than nothing. So that's another good way to get gem apples too. Is on every now and again, Magla will give you a gift of gem apples. It's it's always gonna be three gem apples. It's never gonna be more. It's never gonna be less. At least I don't think it is. It's probably just always gonna be three gem apples. But um, yeah, I would not, I would not recommend buying stickers until you're like. If you have a high amount of gem apples, like I would recommend buying stickers until you're getting a lot of gem apples for like hero mission or tree harvest, because they don't really stickers don't really help you in any way. Oh, and I forgot, I forgot to mention, in order to 100% the game, you do need to buy all the stickers in the game. I forgot to mention that, but yeah, in order to 100% the game, you also need to buy every sticker in the game. Well, I'll put some stuff in the description so you guys can see like all the all the stuff that you need to do to 100% the game. I'll put all that in the description because I might forgot to mention it at the beginning of the video. Yeah, if I make a part two, if I find any more ways that I can that I can help you guys, that can help you guys get level uh to one hundred percent the game, um, I'll I'll make a part two on this on this. But I think I've given you all the tips I need to give. I think I told you guys what you need to do to one hundred percent the game. Sorry if I couldn't teach you guys the way to get fragments and stuff. I if I do find a way, I will make a video on that. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys one hundred percent the game. You guys got this. I know you guys can do it. I hope you guys at least uh uh beat the game too. Like. Yeah, I hope you guys just enjoy the game in general. But I also hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys have a nice day. I love y'all and peace. Sorry if I talked a little too fast. I might talk too fast. Anyways, um, peace, boys. Out.